Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. I'm kind of fixated on the bigger the better achievement and check it out, we're doing a service boat. This is a special job, we've been flown from France up to Denmark, we're using a loaner truck, but after doing that uh, giant staircase in the last episode, I thought it might be fun to continue working on that bigger the better achievement. So this is what we've got, we're taking an entire ship today. That doesn't look so huge actually, but hopefully we can do better than last time, right? I hit a lot of things with the construction staircase. This is basically our instructions, but instructions are optional in life, right? I mean, we just make them up. All right, so I think we can get going here and get started and just kind of check it out here. This, oh, this actually is a pretty big ship, isn't it? It's long. All right, anyway, okay, let's get going here. Do you think we can make it without, I'll probably have to adjust the steering wheel because I haven't played for a little while. Lots of things to talk about. You might be wondering, what happened to better take wide turns with this thing right by the way this is a four hour and 23 minute drive going uh north up through denmark so let's see how this goes here this actually is pretty wide and this is a heavy ship here oh <laughs> this is gonna be fun i do like this again though we do have our escort vehicles that must be our trailer vehicle we got the press out again and hopefully i'm gonna try to do this one without any types of accidents or anything like that so I, be I believe that we can do this made it around that corner nice that's good looking pretty good here we got to make a left-hand turn but all the traffic is stopped so this is good too escort vehicle looks like they're doing a really good job now I definitely want to go wide out into this turn here right because we do not want to hit that car with the side of the boat oh look at that no problem missed the telephone poles and everything yeah, we're doing pretty good so far, I think, huh? We've made it like three minutes into our four hour and 23 minute journey. We haven't hit anything yet. So an outstanding start here. And it looks like we're getting out on the highway, which is good for us. That last one that we did in France with the construction staircase, that was tricky, right? Because it was that narrow road. It had all those metal, the cement posts on the right hand side. It's got a lot less of those cement posts now that we've driven down the road. We took out a good, maybe half dozen or dozen of those things, but yeah, they were kind of in the way, right? So, yeah, not really our fault. Although we did kind of get a lot of damage. I thought we were going left here. Okay, good. Journey a bush. Oh, wow, we got to make it down this thing. I think we're okay if we go this way, right? Oh, this is just asking for trouble here. We're going to catch that side, aren't we? No, we made it. Oh, this. Why do they make these entrance ramps so narrow in Scandinavia? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take it slow here. I feel like we're gonna mush something. We're gonna definitely catch that right side. These are the deadly entrance ramps too. I've hooked myself up even with regular loads. I've mushed myself on enough of these. I remember that Christmas event, not last year, but two years ago, I was up here doing the Christmas event. Wow, we made it. We didn't hit anything. I hit, I kind of racked myself up on those guardrails because I was trying to do them really fast because you have you know, 12 deliveries and I might've let it go a little bit late. So I remember hitting those guardrails a lot, but we navigated that one fine. The ship is good. I would love to see if we can get a perfect delivery with this one. And we're out in the highway. Things are getting a lot easier. So anyway, game time, it's Tuesday. It's nine o'clock in the evening. No, it's five o'clock in the evening. We'll get there at nine o'clock in the evening. So we should probably have mostly daylight here. And if this drive is like this, with this highway, wow, that's a big ship. All right, anyway. We'll keep working away at this. We'll check back in in just a little bit. I will chat about, you might be thinking what happened to the Valentine's Day event and the idea to do six deliveries in two hours. I have a story about that and I'll be back shortly to talk about it. Whoa, that truck stopped. Why? Oh, it's a crazy truck changing lane maneuver and then it just stopped in front of us it's not helping us oh heart rate okay wait right okay that's no, okay all righty this is why why did we change lane i do we have a photo op up here too so i'm gonna take a moment here to take a picture here i was hauling along i had my feet on the the, the my foot on the pedal here just all the way to the floor friggin we got this this is highway driving shouldn't be a problem at all this is the big bridge right so let's take a picture here because we're going to build up our photo collection photo studio 
photo mode. We'll be right back. Here it is. New little belt bridge. Okay, so this isn't the big bridge. Now, um, I did install the no limit photo mod here too. So we can take all sorts of fun pictures of this one, of the new little belt bridge here. Let's just do that. That's good. All right, new photo trophy captured. Let's get back in the car here. This boat's got to get places. But yeah, that was pretty crazy when that escort vehicle stopped. I thought for sure we we're gonna ru we we're gonna run into it, but I kept my ship together. <laughs> That's pretty funny, right? All right, we'll keep going here. See you in a little bit. So we're a little under three hours left in our journey, so about a third of the way through. Unlike last time, and this time we tried a special transport where we had about five accidents and fines and damage and all that kind of stuff. So far, we haven't hit anything and we've got no tickets or anything like that. So doing considerably better. To, to confess though, this is much easier than that last route that we we're on. That staircase down that winding country road in France, that was a much challenging, a much more challenging route than this one's been so far. Because this has all been two, um, two lane highways, except for that beginning part, we had to navigate that narrow uh, entrance ramp. It's been pretty easy. It's just the only hairy moment we had was when really the escort truck decided to stop in the middle of the highway for whatever reason. But other than that, yeah, we've been doing pretty well here. We got plenty of gas. Of course, they give you full sleep and stuff like that. So we're doing there. The kids are up on the bridge up there watching us. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so far so good. No problems. I did want to chat about the Valentine's Day event because that was actually quite interesting. And this seems like a pretty good stretch to do it because we got two lane highway and straight ahead. We do have a bus you can see over on our mirror up over there trying to sneak around us here. I suspect that's Park Air trying to mess with us here, but let me try to keep that bus at bay. But anyway, back to the point at hand. So when I last was on that episode of American Truck Simulator, if you'd seen it, we had gotten to, I'd gotten to like two deliveries with the Valentine's Day event, the first ones I'd done. I and I that. thought, I wonder if I could do power events, like do six and then do six. And could you do six deliveries in two hours, averaging 20 minutes of delivery, right? And I thought that may be kind of fun. So I think it was like Friday or something like that. Friday evening, I thought, okay, I should test this, right? I should see how close I can get to, I don't want to hit this guardrail. I should see how close I can get to 20 minutes for delivery. And so I'll try to do it for like an hour and a half or something like that, hour and 20 minutes, see if I can get four deliveries in an hour and a half. And here's the thing. I didn't, it wasn't fun. <laughs> It wasn't fun at all. Matter of fact, it was just so annoying. And the reason why I think it was so annoying was, so I tried to do it, I was in Wyoming, in American Truck Simulator, and I was trying to do it. And I kept getting through these like small towns where there are just tons of traffic lights. And so what I found myself doing was waiting at the traffic lights and then just getting frustrated that I was waiting at these traffic lights. And then I realized that I think the way you have to do it if you're gonna to try to do it in that way is to scout ahead and ideally you'd want some city in either American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator that you could connect two cities that were relatively close together, like 100 miles apart for those minimum distances, which like 100 kilometers and 60 miles or something like that, 62.1 miles or something like that, that were just beyond the minimum requirements that rather big, where you didn't actually have to go into the towns and drive through the cities to go pick up the stuff because those traffic lights were killers. So what I ended up doing was getting super frustrated the whole time I was driving and I actually didn't enjoy it at all. I did four deliveries. It took me like an hour and 35 minutes, but uh, every time I try to pick it up, I was getting stuck in the city and I was just getting more and more anxious. And what I realized was that I think part of the joy that I have for this game and playing this game is that I don't really stress about how long it takes. I just do the job and if you get stuck in a traffic light you just look around but that that changed the whole nature of the game to try to get it done fast to try to kind of concentrate on speed cut corners so there was no sense really of enjoyment or just kind of being where you are i was always trying to get further down the road faster than where i was i want to be careful of this railing here this bus is really trying to pass us here but we're not letting them by matter of fact i think i'm just going to go in the middle here and just let him know that i got a boat he's got a bus He's gonna stay behind me for a while here. You just deal with it. Anyway, we have two hours left. We are over halfway in our journey now and we have yet to hit anything or get any fines. So, so far, so good. It's starting to get dark though. So the last couple hours here, 
Sun's going down, right? Yeah, sun's going down here in Scandinavia. So the last couple hours here could be a little bit trickier. Anyway, we'll check back in probably about another half an hour and chat a little bit more. I wanna talk a little bit more about the driver update and what thing we'll do next. So we have about 218,000 euros already. So the money really starting to roll in now. But um, I did not, yeah, we'll be back. Hour and 22 minutes to go. I decided to be a good Samaritan. I'm not sure that's a good Samaritan, but I decided to be nice and I kind of slid over to the right here to let the bus and the truck and the cars go by. And lo and behold, the bus slowed down in just a way that it kept the truck beside us at a narrow stretch. We almost took out a sign, but fortunately we didn't. So I think we probably have a pretty long line of cars behind us still, because we were going pretty slow here and having a trouble, get, trouble getting around us, but we're still, now this looks like a problem. This truck up here is slowing down and stopping. What's going on? What's going on up ahead here? Or maybe that's just me imagining things. We've got a truck trying to pass us again. I think we're gonna just widen our route here a little bit. Okay, maybe there was nothing. I thought that truck in front of us was slowing down. Not the escort truck, but the one around the corner, but apparently not, so. But yeah, about an hour and 10 minutes left. I didn't get a chance to update our drivers for the uh, the challenge for our what's the best driver AI pattern. So I'll do that for the next episode and we'll check in on them. That'll actually give us a good amount of time too because delivery wise, this is a pretty short delivery. It's only four hours and 20 something minutes. And I think the um, special staircase too, that was a relatively short one. So I'll update it again after that. We should have some pretty good data. We should be getting close to the point where we, because it's really only gonna matter, I think for the first 10 levels of their advancement. So I think we should have some pretty good data then. By the way, if you're not familiar with that, what we're doing is we've hired five drivers and are develop AI drivers, hired drivers, and are develop developing them all in different ways to see if we can get an idea what might be the most efficient way to train your hired drivers up so they make money fast. And I think we're starting to learn things that basically the balanced route is better than concentrating in long distance anyway, which is something I wouldn't have guessed. I, I had a lot of our drivers concentrating on long distance. Anyway, about 52 minutes or so left. And I think, uh, well, let's connect in maybe another 10 minutes or so and we can chat our way in here. This tunnel is narrow. We're gonna, we got a long line of cars behind us. We're gonna just take the whole tunnel though, sorry. I do not wanna mess this up now. I wanna get the perfect delivery. I'm dialed in. Attention, veuillez respecter la limitation going too fast. Anyway, see you in a couple minutes. About 35 minutes to go. And yeah, making good. This has been an this has been an easy special trust transport journey so far. It's just been the whole time has been this highway. And I am liking the scenery here too. Check it out. We've got just a wonderful Scandinavian sunset. We're gonna run into this sign now, checking out the sunset, but hopefully not. Now, with the Valentine's Day event done, what's next? for ETS2 and ATS. Do you think we'll have any more events coming up? I don't think the Balkans are close yet, right? For release. Maybe the springtime, but I'm not sure. Oklahoma, Kansas, American Truck Simulator. I don't know if they're all that close. So I'm curious to see how fast they get once the, they get to these smaller states, because theoretically Oklahoma should be a lot faster than Montana. And it should be a lot faster, of course, since Texas, because those were massive DLCs. Well, Texas was anyway. So I'm curious to see what the next thing's gonna be. Anyone have any ideas? Do you know what the next DLC would be? What's the next big thing or an event or something like that? Because sometimes we get these pockets in the game where not much happens. You know, we get a flurry of stuff, like we had the Christmas event, and then we had the event for Texas, and we had Montana, Texas, that was pretty quick. So it always seems like there was something coming up on the horizon. And then we hit this kind of long stretch there last year where there really wasn't anything new, especially, well, there really hasn't been anything new for Euro Truck Simulator for a long time. The last DLC, again, was the Ukraine paint jobs pack. So <laughs> I guess the Valentine's pack, the DLC pack was there. So, I was hoping they were gonna extend the Valentine's Day event, but looks like they didn't do that. Cause that was a short one, two weeks for 14 deliveries. It didn't start right away. I mean, I suppose if you play the game quite a bit, you can get it. But yeah, anyway, event fail for me. Looks like we are approaching our final destination here. I better get my driving focus on here because I don't want to smash into anything. I feel like we're going to hit something in the last couple minutes here. Seven minutes to go. 
Polaris signs. Are we taking it to the to the? Oh, I bet we're taking it into the port. Not that that's bad, but it's probably hard, right? I'm go right here. I'm gonna take this turn really wide. Let's take it wide. Oh, headlight usage of fence. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, I forgot again. Oh. I know I can just read the comments now. I can just read the comments now. Oh, I and I told people I put a note up, a little post-it note up on my monitor to say turn your headlights on. I totally lied about that. I was going to do it, but I was on a different computer and then I forgot to do it. So we made it perfect the whole way until six minutes left until one of these police officers on the side that are supposed to be helping us decided that they want to give us a fine for not having our headlights on. <sighs> that's bittersweet. That's just, that's just nasty. I mean, it is dark, at least this time. I mean, we've been getting so many fines when it's like noontime and there's one cloud in the sky. And so, and I know you got to turn your lights on all the time. I, I do that, well, actually, my real car, to my defense, my real car has the lights on. They just go on automatically, so I never turn them on. They turn off when I turn the engine off. When I turn the engine on, the lights are on. So it's it's really easy in real life for me to, to manage that. So that's my excuse that I actually have to remember to do something different in the game. I can't believe we had a perfect delivery. I mean, I don't think it matters for any achievement or anything like that. So I don't think it's cost us anything. It was the principle of the thing that we did really poorly on the last special transport delivery. And this time, whoa, we were gonna get just getting out of the way. I just go straight here, right? Oh, I gotta go over there? Like down here? That's kind of tricky here. Just go bumping around here, but that's that's a rather challenging turn for this, but no damage done there. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely did better than the last time, of course, but God, that's a killer to get that. Okay, I am gonna put the little post-it note up here and go ahead, feel free, put in the comments, turn your lights on all the time. I get it. We're here, let's tee this one up. This does give us, I think, our sixth of 11 uh, our routes here. Oh, the bigger the better, six of 11. Not a crane, achievement unlocked. Oh, what's that? We got some other achievement. I didn't even know we we're, were gonna get it for, so that's good. But that gives us the service boat. We now have six of the 11 special transport deliveries for the bigger the better. I don't think I'm gonna do a, 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 an episode on this the whole time through, because doing episodes two weeks apart will take a while to get there, so. Oh, and we hit level 34. This is a big day. Achievement level 34 and more progress on bigger the better. Ah, what do you get? The only thing left, we've only got Three little pips here left. Then we're level 36 and all our skills will be maxed out. So we'll do eco driving, of course. That's the only one that's left. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Go ahead. Please put down in the comments before, below, turn on your headlights. Go ahead. Go ahead. I bet there's going to be like, maybe there'll be like 50 of them. That would be pretty funny, but I deserve it. I know. We have $232,000. I'll talk about what we're going to do with the money in the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll put a link to the next episode as soon as it's ready. See you again soon. Bye.